Hi, this is Charity and welcome to my first mod explanation. So I decided that I wanted cats and dogs to be selectable because in one of my Let's Plays I have over 20 cats, sometimes up to 30 cats. And I like to keep them out of the house by directing them to go to a place. And You can't normally do that in The Sims 4. There is a cheat to turn on the selection of pets, but unfortunately it resets every time you zone and that's sort of annoying. So I have made a mod that just uses that command and is exactly that command, except for it runs every time you load and every time you zone. So what I have done here is loaded up the Grove family and I actually added a cat and a dog and they already had two horses. So this family has all of the animals that are compatible with this. Unfortunately, it doesn't work for the cows and the chickens, but you can just click on one of the animals and you can see that the plum bob is now above Luna's head. And you can actually look at their needs in order to figure out what they want. This is good for cats and dogs because you can't see what a cat and dog needs just by mousing over them like you can with the horses. This also allows you to tell them to go here and they will go there just like a regular sim and it also allows you to fix the eating problem that they sometimes have so if you want a, a pet to eat inst instead of having to actually call it to eat you can click on the bowl and click eat and that pet will just go there and eat and now your pets will no longer starve if you don't have time to have your main sim direct them to eat and as far as horses you can actually send them to train as well so if you click on the barrels, there's race barrels and practice barrels. Some of these may work and some of them may not because it's actually in-game code. It's not something that the mod has added or fixed. So if there's any problems with the commands, it's not due to the mod. It's just the fact that these are debug commands used by the developers as they're developing a pack. And maybe your horses don't use their beds like you want them to. So you can make them go to their bed and actually click on the horse itself and click sleep and they will sleep wherever they are. And if they're on top of the bed, that's where they will sleep or maybe not. <laughs> he decided to go to that bed when I clicked sleep. Okay, well, there is no sleep here, so that's unfortunate, but I thought it would work. At least that will allow you to tell them to sleep. You may not necessarily be able to tell them where to sleep. In fact, I can't even tell the adult horse to sleep at all. I could only do that with the baby horse. That's annoying. Maybe because the horse is not tired, you can't tell them to sleep. But anyway, as I said, those actions are not determined by me. The cats and the dogs, they do have a sleep command, so you can send them to sleep when you want to, but it looks like the adult horses don't have that for whatever reason. Now this mod is available on Nexus Mods for download. The link will be in the description, and I know you have to sign up for an account in order to download it, but that actually gives a small kickback if enough people actually download it. So that's why I put it on Nexus Mods. If you're interested in any Sims 4 Let's Plays, feel free to look around, subscribe, like, and comment. And if you have any other suggestions for mods, don't hesitate to leave a comment. This is Charity. Thanks for watching.